Hey, Visanta here. In this video, we'll have hidden ability Gyarados. All right, so the hidden ability for Gyarados is Moxie, and Moxie is when it knocks out another Pokemon, it'll have an attack stage boost. And I'm gonna show you two dens. One den is without the DLC if somehow you don't have it, and the other den is with the DLC, which I prefer you do because it's a guaranteed HA. These both are purple beams, and this one is Den 44. This is the one in Galar, in the base game. We're gonna fly to the nursery in the wild area. And it's about 40% for a 4 star and 35% for a 5 star, so it does have a pretty high rate of spawning a Gyarados. Only thing is not a guarantee HA. So the den, run the grass here. This is the den that you want. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do spawning of a purple beam. I'm gonna do it on the other den, cause then that's the den I would rather you prefer to do if you have the DLC. But you do the same thing on here as well. So we're gonna go to the other den, and this den is den 146. Fly to the Tower of Water here. You're gonna make a right, straight, the water here. Oh, you see that island over there? That's the one where you wanna go to. Be careful of Sharpedoes. Up here. <laughs> oh god. Raining. Perfect, right? So. This Gyarados spawns at 15% for 4 star and 25% for a 5 star. And since it's a purple beam in the DLC, it's a guaranteed hidden ability if you actually encounter the Gyarados. So this is the den that you want. It's pretty much the same den as the Gigantamax Blastoise. So what you want to do to spawn purple beam is you want to save prior here. All right, and then you want to throw in a wishing piece. And then you, at, at the point where you hit yes, you want to press home. And then if it's red beam, right, you close the game, open it, and you do it again until you get a purple beam. Uh, the purple beam will kind of lag a little bit, so you kind of know when, if you got one. But yeah, keep doing this until you get one. Alright, we finally have a purple beam. So we're going to do the time skip trick. Um, you know this is not a Gyarados. So we're going to do time skip trick where you press invite others. Make sure you're offline when you do this. And then you're gonna press home. You're gonna go to system settings. Go to system, date time. If you have synchronized clock on, turn it off. Increase your date by one day. Press OK. Go back into the game. Quit the room. And that should reset the den. Pretty much do this until you get a Gyarados. I'll see you guys in the Gyarados battle. Alright, I'm going in. I'm bringing a tracer just so I can show you. You don't have to. Because it's pretty much gonna be guaranteed HA. Um, what you want is bring electric Pokemon because it's four times weakness because it's flying and water. You easily wreck this thing. Uh, my Gardevoir does have Thunderbolt though, so... Moxie, see? There you go. We have a Magikarp here in the battle too. Ironically, Dynamax straight up Max Lightning it. Pogepi, um, probably gonna do Life Dew or Follow Me. Does that follow me? I don't know, but it's probably gonna do Life Dew. The magic card might miss his hydro pump. Uh, might be a long battle. It is a five star Gyarados that I spawned. Max Lightning! Sorry, up into shields. Maybe I should just hit it with regular Thunderbolt. Then Max Lightning. Maybe. I am going to work on another video um, for the next set of abilities, probably going to be a Liper. Get on that eventually. Ha! Hurricane. Doesn't have 100% accuracy. Dragon Dance? Oh god. Yeah, it's going to be faster than me because I'm level 100. Even though my EV spread is like completely over the place. Oh no, Magikarp! It has a focus stash, right? I, I think I remember that. Bro! Oh, I didn't even use this focus stash. Rock is also good against it. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh my god, it's faster than me now. Oh my god, it's faster than me. 
to do all his moves first. To make us lower with max strike. Oh, Magikarp did. Bye bye, Magikarp. Flash inside the ball. Uh, wait, did it actually lower all the stats at once? Oh no, I didn't get an attack buff. Okay, it's okay. We, we can still do this. Senses everything down. Solar beam. Oh. Bring up the shields again, maybe. Auto absorb. Oh my god, even more. Yo, I should just knock out my teammate just so I can activate Moxie. Oh my god. Ooh. Um. Don't lose, man. That would be so bad. Oh. Attack is like. Um. I should be okay, but oh my god, that damage. Oh, electric Pokemon. Should be able to wreck it. No! Oh my god, I didn't activate shields yet! Oh no! Oh no, I might lose! Oh, the third turn! Do I have to do this again? I'll just cut to it if I lose. I'll bring an electric Pokemon next time, like Zero Aura or something. Don't kill me, I should, we should be fine. Confuse? Still faster though. Oh no! Oh, we're on our last life. It's up to the NPCs, are you serious? He's hit. Oh, someone's gonna get wrecked. Please don't hit Togepi. All right, we can still do this if Togepi doesn't get hit. Break shields, break shields, break shields, break shields, break shields. I guess physical moves. Uh oh, uh oh, hit Maractus, hit Maractus, hit Maractus. Oh, I one shot it! Oh, we're gone. Okay, we gotta battle this again. This time brings her aura. <laughs> Alright, we're back here. We got better Pokemon teammates this time. And I'm not gonna Dynamax first turn because I wanna activate shields. Oh, yeah. We got Quailfish with Intimidate, and we have a Pikachu. Come on, man. Electric type. That's how you're supposed to do it. Even though Togepi was kind of tanky, though. Not gonna lie. A Dynamax next turn. Maybe I, I, I don't think I need the Dynamax yet. Max Geyser, though. Oh! Got the Dragon Dance. So far, I haven't knocked out any Pokemon yet. So, I think we're okay so far. We did get a one attack buff. I can't Dynamax anyways. I gotta wait till next turn. Next three turns. Plasma Fist. Ooh, right through them shields, bro. This time, this 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 zero aura has a high EV spread. So even though it has dragon dances, I'll probably end up going first. Oh no! Uh, I got hit Pikachu. Should be able to get this though. 
Uh, plus, plus three attack now or something. Four. Plus three speed. Plus two speed. Good thing is a hydro pump though, not like a waterfall. Come on, Eevee. Wait, wait, I'm first. Damn it. Wanted an NPC to hit it so then I could activate shields. Oh, me? Oh my god. Get hella damage, bro. Maxi. Stop attacking, please. So hard. So hard. Maybe I should have maxed. You can choose back at least. If I can last one more turn, we can win because I'll Dynamax. Ooh! Never mind. Just straight up to smack it. There we go. I already have one of these, so I'm just gonna like throw a random ball, like luxury ball. And since I'm host, I'm guaranteed. Oh. I think this is like probably the third time I had to fight it again. With the help of NPC, of course. If I had, you know, if I did this on stream or whatever, it would have been fine. Because I have people here that won't get one shot or whatever. Or play smart. I could just brought a Pokemon that has like water absorb or something. Or anti-water of any sort. Just bring a Lapras. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a like and comment whatever video I should do next. And that's there how to be Pokemon and subscribe for future videos. I do stream on Twitch. Check out my socials down below along with Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. If you guys need me to breed anything, just redeem it on stream. Mostly the hidden ability ones, videos I did, I do have them. So I can give them anything that's breedable to help you out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later days.